So the last section that I want to show is the uh, fourth uh, section, add block. I'm going to add it. Um, however, this section is still a bit uh, minimal and it's also experimental. Um, the term block is very general because um, in the future what we want is to be able to add different blocks in there. But as, I, as you will see in a minute, um, at the moment there is not a lot of blocks to choose from. So you again, you can give it a title. Um, I'm not going to give it a title. Um, and the first thing you have to choose is the primary block, which is placed on the left side of the page, so in the left uh, uh, columns. And there's only one option to choose from. And this is actually um, the main activity stream, so the community stream with the latest activities. You can choose to display the title. I think that's fine. Um, and I can choose uh, the length of the stream. So do I want to show five, the latest five activities or the latest 10 activities? So I'm going to choose 10. If I want, I can also give it a different title and override the default one. Um, and this, the secondary block that you can choose will be placed on the right side of the page. So it is going to place next to the primary block. So on the same level. There's a few more options to choose from. You can choose uh, the latest topics, the newest groups or the newest users. And if you choose any of the three, you can also choose how many you want to show. And again, you can choose which kind of title you want. The fourth option is the activity overview, and I'm going to choose that one uh, because it summarizes the amount of content that has been created on the platform. So it's, it's a nice gimmick, it's more like a metric. And again, if you want, you can add a link that is shown at the bottom of the section. Uh, it can be a link within the platform or it can be a link to an external site. I'm going to save it. Scroll a bit down and now you can see a nice stream on the left side and an activity overview block on the right side. 